Hi, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on linear programming. What I want to do is I want to um, optimize this equation, both maximize and minimize, subjected to a bunch of inequalities. What's going to happen is these inequalities are going to create a shaded region. And when I have the shaded region done, the corners of the shaded region will tell me my mix maximum and minimum value. Okay, so let's get this started. So to get my shaded region, what I'm going to do is I'm going to graph each of my lines. Instead of trying to go to y equals mx plus b, our slope intercept form, I'm going to graph using the intercepts. So if I wanted to graph this line, I'm not worried about the inequality just yet. I'll do that after I get the basic line graphed. If I want to graph this by the intercepts, I first look for the x-intercept. The x-intercept happens when y is equal to 0. If y is equal to 0, 7x equals 42, x is equal to 6. For my y-intercept, I set x equal to 0, so 3y is equal to 42, which means y is equal to 14. Okay, so these are my two intercepts for my first line. For my second line, 14x minus 3y, equals 21. I'm going to do the same thing. My x-intercept is going to be found when y is equal to 0. So 14x equals 21 at 1.5. And my y-intercept is going to be when negative 3y is 21 or negative 7. If I do a quick sketch of these two lines, I'm not worried about scale. This is really just to get a rough idea of where the shaded region is. My x-intercepts are 1.5 and 6. My y-intercepts are negative 7 and 14. And if I connect these, the 6 and the 14 get connected together. And the negative 7 and 1.5 get connected together. Okay. And I have my basic graph. I need to figure out which of these four sections of the graph I want to shade. So I'm going to start by looking at this first line. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to test a point. So I'm going to test the point uh, 1, 1. And if this point satisfies this inequality, then all the points over here will satisfy this inequality. So I'm going to test the point 1, 1. So is 7 times 1 plus 3 times 1 less than or equal to 42? Is 10 less than or equal to 42? It is, which means we're shading below this line. I'm going to test uh, the same point for my next line. So is 14 times 1 minus 3 times 1 greater than or equal to 21? That is 11 greater than or equal to 21. It's now false for this line, so I don't want to go to that point. I'm going to go away from that point. Okay, so the last two lines, x is greater than or equal to 0, means I'm to the right of the y-axis, and y is greater than or equal to 0 means I'm above the x-axis. What these two basically are telling me is that I'm... Uh, restricted to quadrant 1, which means this bounded triangle supplies all of the ordered pairs that satisfy all four of my equations. Okay, so like I said at the beginning, if I can calculate the intercepts, the corners of this triangle, they will provide the ordered pairs that um, are the maximum and the minimum for this equation. Even though I have an infinite number of points, the maximum and minimum will be found amongst these three points. Well, this point is 1.50, and this point is 6, 0. I don't know what that point is. I'm going to have to do a little bit of work to figure it out. So to solve that point, what I'm going to do, um, because the y coefficients are equal, in coefficient, 3, and opposite in sign, I'm going to take the 7x plus 3y equaling 42 and the 14x minus 3y equaling 21. I'm going to add them together to get 21x equals 63. And when I divide, I get that x is equal to 3. I'm going to plug that into the first equation. So 7 times 3 
plus 3y equals 42 when 21 plus 3y equals 42. I'm going to subtract that 21 over. 3y is equal to 21 when y is equal to 7. Now I want to know if that ordered pair, 3, 7, works in my second line. So is 14 times 3 minus 3 times 7 really equal to 21? 42, 21, yes. Which means this corner is 3, 7. Okay, so now I have the three corners of my triangle. All I need to do is use those three ordered pairs in this optimization equation. So I'm going to start with 3, 7. So I put the 3 in for x and the 7 in for y and I get 60 plus 70, which is 130. Okay, now I'm gonna go to this corner, the 1.50. So P is equal to 20 times 1.5 plus 10 times zero, which is going to equal 30. And then I'm gonna end at my last corner, this six, zero. So P is equal to 20 times six plus 10 times zero, which is gonna give me 120. Okay, so sometimes you're looking for the minimum, sometimes you're looking for the maximum, this time I'm looking for both. So if I look at my final answers, the minimum is P equals 30 at 1.50. The maximum is P equals 130 at 37. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks!